Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to paint a heavy intercessor sergeant for my black templars. I really love heavy intercessors. I think that they look super cool and I'm super happy that I'm going to do this uh, miniature finally because this one has been in my pile of shame for like a lot of time already. It's, it's uh, one that I have for a while and I when I primed this miniature quite a long time ago I didn't even remove the the mold lines as we can see here but still I, i'm going to proceed and paint in it and hopefully it shouldn't look that bad but of course it, here there are present some mistakes that i don't do anymore so with that being said as you can see the miniature was already primed with the citadel chaos black and now for the base as i usually do with my back templars because of consistency i will apply technical as well and i there is so with that being said let's start with the video Technical paint dried and of course I applied a very thin layer of Abaddon Black because this is going to be like my base black color and in case that I make any kind of mistake or something I will go back to this one. A small change before uh, earlier is that I added this uh, hand to the waist, it came in the Black Templar's upgrade spruce and uh, with that being said I'm going to start painting the miniature and I'm going to start with the uh, lead belcher, I'm going to use this color basically to cover all the metallic areas of the miniature. And I will use this one the first because after using this metallic color I will change the water and I start with the, the rest of the colors. And for this one I'm going to paint the symbol in the chest, I'm going to paint the uh, parts of the weapon as well and all the inside parts of the power armor like for example here in behind of the knees and all these tubes and things. I, I will apply metallic color to all the things that I consider that should have that color so let's start. Most of the metallic parts of the miniature I are painted right now and I say most of them instead of all of them because of course there are some details that I will paint later because it would be much easier to do it in the end rather than right now at the beginning. So first of all I forgot to mention that there's also another metallic color that I would like to use and it's Balthazar Gold. I will use this one for this uh, thing here that is not very visible right now but because everything is black but once I paint it it will be much more visible. I will paint this gold and also some symbols here in the shoulder pad. This shoulder pad came with the aggressor's kit but of course I decided to give one of them to the sergeant of my heavy intercessors because I wanted to have something different and I think that it looks cool so there will be gold here as well. And after that I will do what I said earlier of changing the water and starting with like the base colors for the rest of the miniature and here I will use uh, Dawn Stone, this is a lighter grey and I will use it for parts of the purity seal and of course the bone parts of the hand that we have here because like this it will be much easier later to apply some white on them because of course there's always like a nicer transition going uh, from black to white if we have some grey in the middle. Then of course I will use Corn Red, this is the red that I like to use for my Black Templars as usual I will paint the weapon with uh, corn red but in this case we are talking about a sergeant so he's going to have his uh, shoulder pads like the borders of the shoulder pads with this red color as well and of course the, the eyes never forget the eyes 
and then we have Morphan Brown and I will use this one for the belt and the case of the gun and also these uh, details right here basically everything that I want to be like this uh, more leather look alike or the things that he's carrying I will use uh, this color and with that being said let's continue painting this sergeant This sergeant is starting to look like a proper Black Templar sergeant. We have all the base color and now it's a perfect moment to start with the edge highlighting. And I already made a video about how I do the edge highlighting of my Black Templars. I will leave the link in the description. But uh, with that being said, I will proceed with this one. And I will use, first of all, for the red uh, parts of the miniature, I will use uh, Evil Sun Scarlet. Then for the power armor, I mean, or the black parts, that it's basically the power armor, I will use first of all Dark Reaper in every single edge of the power armor. I will use this everywhere and after this one I will apply a thinner edge highlight of Fenris and Grey in the parts that are most exposed of the power armor. And after that it should look quite uh, almost uh, finished or at least much better so let's continue it's going to be fun
Okay, as you can see now it looks much better because we can clearly differentiate all the parts of the power armor and I always try to be careful when applying this kind of highlight because I don't want it to be too glowy, it's black power armor after all. And now I'm going to continue with uh, some details that uh, I have been leaving behind but it's a good time to start with them. So. I'm going to use a room or brass for the bullets. It's not also the ones here in the, these ones that we can see here, but also the ones that are here as well. Then I will use a wraith bone for the purity seal and the bones of the hand that we can see here. And also I will use wraith bone to dry brush the base of the miniature. And then I will continue with a lead belcher to paint some of the details that we left behind, like this metallic part in the hand and also some of the symbols and parts of the weapon that we can see here. And let's continue. This sergeant is uh, looking better and better and now it's the perfect time to add some shade to the miniature so of course I will use uh, null noil for the metallic parts of the miniature and uh, then I will use uh, Agrax air shade to the let's say gold parts, the purity seal and also the, the hand as well with the leather parts and uh, with that it should be almost finished so let's continue. And now, of course, this is a Black Templar Sergeant, so we need to have some Black Templar marking in this shoulder pad. Uh, I already made a video explaining how I do the shoulder pads of my Black Templar, so I will leave the video in the description. So first of all, I'm going to make the cross with corn red, and then on the edges I will apply some Eblisan Scarlet as the highlight, as I did with the rest of the red parts of the miniature. So let's uh, convert this uh, Sergeant into a proper Black Templar.
As we can see by the shoulder pad, this is now a proper Black Templar Sergeant. And now one of the final steps, we will apply the final highlights. And for that, I will use Retributor Armor for the golden parts of the miniature. And then I will use some Stormhouse Silver for the last uh, metallic uh, details in the weapon chest or the head as well. And with that, I will just put some grass in the base and it should be practically finished. And this is it. This is my heavy intercessor sergeant for my Black Templar army. I really like how it looks. I, I like Gravis armor a lot and I like the concept of the heavy intercessor. So I really, really like this miniature. I cannot wait to paint the rest of the squad because it's, of course, they are unpainted as well. But I'm super happy with how this looks and I cannot wait to filter this uh, miniature on the battlefield. It looks great and I'm super happy with the results. So as usual, if you're still here, please consider giving me a like and subscribing. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.